Hi folks, it's Mike here in Meteor Golf. We're mic'd up so we can do a little bit more than what we could do before. We're able to um, talk a little bit more in depth about some of the clubs that we have, okay? What we're gonna do today is we, I've picked the JPX 921 hot metal iron because these are the irons. The hot metal family is, is in the middle. It's a super kind of, it's not a super, super game improvement iron. It's not like too lumpy. It's actually quite nice. So it's good for a, a, somebody who wants to get better for a higher handicap or 28 or whatever, or even, even higher to start off, but who wants to get down pretty quick, who wants to learn how to game, play the game of golf a bit better, and they want to get a bit of feeling. And I have to say, these are beautiful. The JPX series has improved hugely over the last 10 years because years ago it was very much there was a lot of blue and it was kind of a lot of shiny kind of it looked to even a bit well it was it was made a lot for the asian market so they seemed to like a bit more bling than us over here and they were a little bit um kind of gaudy nearly they were like there was a lot of blue and there were medallions and they were kind of yeah they looked a bit cheap to say that to put it to put it bluntly but over the last kind of since the jpx 990 okay um yeah i think it's jpx no, yeah nine 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 hundred the jpx 900 the last five years it's improved hugely this year is their best year ever they look stunning they're very sleek it's it's kind of a little bit matte they're nice. They've improved their shafts hugely in that the standard shaft on the, the, for, for graphite is the recoil shaft, which I have to say has completely changed the graphite game over the last five, six years. They're unbelievable. Um, it's a lovely looking iron. It sits well. It doesn't look too big. It gives you confidence and when you hit them, it's great. They do what they're supposed to do. They're meant to get the ball up in the air, but you get a bit more feeling, which is really good. So it's in line with, say, it's in line with the, with the 410 from Ping. It's in line with the Maverick irons from Callaway. They're all the, the, they're the, it's the biggest market out there. It's the biggest market for, for clubs. The biggest market for clubs isn't for, for single handicappers. The biggest market for irons is for mid to high handicappers. And this ticks all the boxes. And what's also really cool, what you can do with these, and we're gonna do another video after this about the JPX Fords, is that if you're a little better, you can mix them. So maybe you get, at the start, you get the forged irons and the low irons up to maybe eight or seven, and then you pop these in because they are extremely forgiving. They're so forgiving, we're even gonna hit one, and hopefully, hopefully, we can show you what they do. That was a little bit thin. That was a little bit thin, which is kind of my bad shot. And if we see here, it was still, Club head speed around 80 miles an hour, which isn't bad for a guy who's nearly 54, I suppose. Um, total distance, 146, carry distance, because it was a bit thin, the carry distance was a little bit less and the total distance was a little bit more. So I want to see, we're going to try another one. Now that was lovely. That was really nice. That's what I'm looking for. Spin rate, for me, that's amazing the height 31 meters which i never get side total 2.3 to the right which is always good anything right for me is still very very good because i normally hook the hell out of a golf ball total distance 154 meters 
Carry distance 147. Smash factor 1.42. Go on. Attack angle is nice. I'm actually, actually the complete opposite of most people. When my attack angle is positive, my spin rate goes up. And when my attack angle is minus, my spin rate comes down. It's, very, it's quite confusing for a lot of people, really. But what I gotta say is, it's an easy club, especially with this shaft. Kids, you gotta, men, women, whoever you are, you gotta look at some of these graphite, sh these graphite shafts. They are absolutely amazing at the moment. We're gonna hit another one. I'm happy with that. So that was a little bit, not my best. It should go right, which it did. So we're not gonna worry about that one too much. This is live stuff, folks, so you will see everything. A little bit better, a little bit low. That's gone left. So that's, and we're gonna see if we can knock one down the middle. But when I look down on the club, the top end isn't too thick. It's nicely offset. It comes with a standard, pretty much standard, the uh, Golf Pride MCC Plus 4 Multi Compound Grip, which is nice as a standard grip because they're normally about, do you know, with a, with a standard grip or mid size, it's like they're normally 15, 17 euro, which is, it's normal, with some people, it's an upgrade. That was amazing. Wow, that is nice. Listen folks, go out and try these. If you're looking for something new, go out and try them. There's so much out there. But these, I like them a lot. I suppose it's, it's a bit like cars nowadays. They don't really make too much crap, but the feedback is nice. They look really sleek. They look very, very nice. The back of them is beautiful, they, but when you put the club down, it just feels like you're gonna hit the ball properly. The JPX 921 Hot Metal. A tasty little number maybe for 2021. Take care folks, bye bye.